welcome to our kids' cooking show. I'm Sophia. I'm Christina. I'm Paulina. We are sisters. The saying goes, we are what we eat. Quite literally means, what we eat becomes us. <laughs> Paulina! Welcome to our kids' cooking show. I'm Sophia. I'm Christina. I'm Paulina. We are sisters. The saying goes, we are what we eat, means that whatever we eat quite literally becomes us. When we eat, Food goes into our digestive system and is broken down, and then all the good it's broken down into tiny parts. Then all the good and bad stuff goes into our blood cells. Of course, that's a very simple way of explaining it. Today we're going to tell you a little bit about why some foods are bad, why some are good, and how to make healthy choices. We also are going to show you how to cook good food. Let's get into it. Today we are showing you how to make Paleo grain-free, no sugar added hot cereal. Let's talk about kitchen safety first. The kitchen can be quite a dangerous place with sharp knives, hot objects, and fire. Whatever you cook, remember you must have an adult supervision with you. Before you start cooking, you have to you, you have to wash your hands before you before you touch any food. And if your hair is long, you need to put it in a ponytail or tie it up and you need, it would be nice to wear an apron to protect your clothes. Sugar is very sweet and delicious, but it's bad for our bodies to consume a lot of it. Our hunter-gathering ancestors only ate meat, greens, and berries. That's why they were so healthy, lean, and strong. Today, an average American eats up to 150 to 170 pounds of sugar a year. That's a lot of sugar! To so many foods, from sodas to cereals to even ketchup and mayo. Children shouldn't have more than 15 to 20 grams a day. It all adds up. There are different types of sugar. The worst ones are corn syrup, fructose, and white sugar. The, even the healthy ones need to be limited. People get addicted to sugar and it is hard to stop eating it all at once. But we have to keep fighting. In the paleo diet, they allow fruits, dried fruits, honey, and some maple syrup. But we still have to be careful not to overdo it. We always have chances throughout the day to eat sugary foods without even noticing. For example, somebody's birthday party in school, a cupcake and a goodie bag full of candy, a juice at lunch, and a lollipop from a nice lady at the bank. And so on. You get the idea. We have to teach ourselves to be mindful and say, nuh uh, to sugars coming our way. If you know you already had a cupcake today, say no to that juice at lunch and the um, candy from the nice lady at the bank. You will feel really good about yourself and do a good thing for the future you. As I said earlier, we are making grain free paleo hot cereal that looks and tastes just like oatmeal. We are going to use a food processor to mix all the things together. A food processor blade is very sharp, so you should ask a grown-up to help you set it up. Here is what we need. Any dried fruit. We are going to use dates today. But you can use dried apricots, peas, figs, apples, mangoes, and whatever you have or like. Pulse it three times. Coconut flour. Careful, don't spill it. Half a cup of coconut flakes. Make sure there's what you need. Oh, you need to add a little bit more. 
good? That's good. One cup of flaxseed meal. One cup of flaxseed. Don't let it spill all over because that's what it wants to do. Flaxseed meal. Half a cup of hemp protein. Optional, but add more protein. Make sure to keep your workspace clean. A good chef always does that. And we're going to use hemp protein. You may want to dip it in inside there. You're going to spill it. That's too much. Okay. Salt. And a teaspoon of cinnamon. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Put some back. Put some back in the container. Okay. You shouldn't pulse it for too long because it's going to turn into a dough. After pulsing, it's going to look a little like this. I can even grind it more. The pumpkin seeds are still, still there. You can pulse it a little bit more. So we'll okay. I'm going to transfer it into an airtight container. We will use a, we are going to use a glass jar. Be sure not to touch the blade. Ask it gone for help. Use it by now milk. that our heart's hot cereal mix is in the jar, we are going to clean up and show you how we cook it. There are two ways of cooking it. I'm going to show you the first way. So first, I'm going to put a quarter of a cup into the bowls. You need to add a little bit more. Quarter of a cup of dry cereal. For one person. Is That's a little enough? bit too much. Half of it. Put only half of it, yes. This. After you put a quarter cup of hot quarter cereal, cup, you put half a cup of milk and warm it up into so. the pot. Now we have to warm up the milk. Be sure to ask a grown-up for help. Mom, I'm going okay. to show you how to cook it in the pot. One fourth of a cup of dry cereal. And half a cup of milk. And then you need a grown up supervision. Or you need, and actually, you need a grown up to do this for you. Mom, can you please help? I gotta stir it up. Be very careful, it's already the stove is on. You may want to add a little bit more milk if it's too thick after it's been cooking for a little bit. You may also want to add a little bit of milk to cool it down. Seriously? <laughs> okay, so mommy's pouring the milk. I've had hot. Now you can mix it very carefully. Hold the bowl on with one hand. To mix it so it comes like oatmeal. We'll come back to you when all these are ready. Put it on the stove. On the stove, it makes it look more like oatmeal. It thickens up more. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, and follow our.
our channel on Instagram, which is in the link below, along with the full recipe. Also, comment down below if you would make this and what dried fruits would you add. Bye for now.